I guess I was an entrepreneur once <laughs> when I first started. The rest of my life was implementing and operating my plan. That's Louis DeJoy, who, by the way, has absolutely no experience working in the postal service. He's a fantastic man. He wants to he wants to make the post office great again. It's time for DeJoy to lose de job. In normal times, most people wouldn't be able to name the postmaster general. We've always trusted the postmaster general to do the right thing, and we didn't particularly think of this position as a partisan one. Then Louis DeJoy, a corrupt far-right mega-donor and enabler of the former guy, came along and threw a wrench into the works at the United States Postal Service. The majority of us rely on the USPS, perhaps taking its erstwhile efficiency and services for granted. Postmaster General DeJoy has sought to sabotage the USPS from within. In fact, Democrat lawmaker Marie Newman of Illinois has noted that some of her constituents have gone weeks with no postal delivery at all. In this recent Democratic congressional primary in Broward County, Florida, some mail-in ballots could not be counted because they were delivered too late by the United States Postal Service. But the winner might already be known if hundreds of mail-in ballots had arrived in time to be counted. So why didn't they? It looks like the real culprit is the U.S. Postal Service. The U.S. Post Office in Opelika handles mail for much of South Florida, including mail-in ballots destined for the Broward Elections Department. They kept me in the entryway, and I wasn't even allowed to walk in the second set of doors. Broward Election Supervisor Joe Scott came to this facility shortly before the election to make sure that mail-in ballots were a top priority, but apparently they weren't. A total of 287 ballots mailed and postmarked before Election Day arrived too late to be counted. A direct result of the willful destruction of the post office by partisan hack Louis DeJoy. DeJoy is a major investor in USPS detractors, so his interests do not lie with the public or with the agency he heads. Aligned with the previous president and without scruples, DeJoy has abused his position to drive business away from the USPS, thereby helping competing shipping entities in which he's heavily invested. And of course, we know that DeJoy sought to damage our Postal Service's reliability during the 2020 election when the Democrats embraced voting by mail. DeJoy put deleterious policies in place, and he now seeks to put even more into place. If you think the mail is slow and unreliable now, know that DeJoy hopes to worsen this already bad situation. This brings us to the great lawmaker, Katie Porter. There's no escaping the whiteboard. The clever House Democrat is not to be messed with. She's smarter than you, savvier than you, and she'll get the best of you, especially if you try to BS her during a congressional hearing. On Monday, she completely decimates Louis DeJoy's tenure as postmaster in just 90 seconds. The audit found that by the spring of 2020, mail delivery was right around 92%. That is about 92% of the mail got there within the standard of on time. That dropped to 80% by the fall of 2020. And by January of 2021, was hovering at around 61%. I realize this has gone up somewhat since then, but I wanted to ask you, when did Mr. DeJoy take over as postmaster? If you, do you know? At uh, the summer of 2020. The summer of 2020. So June of 2020. And what happened after he took over? Did the rate of on-time mail delivery go up or down? Went down. And um, I'm a professor and I used to grade Great, do a lot of grading. And 92% is, is considered widely like an A minus. Um, 80 is considered hanging on, hanging on to the lowest possible B. 60% is at best a D minus. What in the world is going on? The Postal Service delivers 48% of the world's mail. It is an institution, it is a civic treasure and we let it get all the way. What you found is we let it get all the way to that D minus level.
We rely on the USPS for personal and business reasons, and we also rely on it to deliver voters' ballots in a timely manner. A properly functioning postal service is crucial for our democracy and economy. The U.S. Postal Service needs to be improving delivery rates, not walking them back to the days of the Pony Express. Hashtag Fire DeJoy. You're goddamn right. And just like a soldier, I keep on moving forward, always getting closer. Until it's over